Welcome back guys, this is Primus. Today I'm going to be showing you some more medieval stuff. Today we're going to be building this small, simple Nordic house here. So, I'm going to be giving you guys a little tutorial. We're going to make it right over there. And I apologize ahead of time for any cuts I make in the video. It's simply because I can't remember the design wholly myself. So, with that, let's just jump right into this. Okay, so I've cleared a little bit of land. And I'm just going to take a little design here. You can pause the video if you want to memorize this down. Uh, what I've done is I've laid out the basic the log plan for our house. It's right over there. I just copied it right over here. So this is what we're going to be using to build the house. Now what we want to do first is we want to go in between all these logs with these stone bricks here. Just one layer of stone brick. That is all we need. Just kind of layer it down like so. Now what we want to do is we want to bring these guys up tilt it all three blocks tall as you can see here I'm using some spruce wood I mean you could use oak or birch or anything I think it looks best with spruce wood or uh, or pine wood I, I, like, I like pine better alright now um what we want to do is you can see we still got the plan here what we need to do is we need to build up the walls now what I like to do is I actually just like to build cobblestone behind it like so so we're just gonna go through and build up all of these walls. I do fill in this little bit over here. Uh, that's just personal preference. Uh, makes the inside look a little bit cleaner. I'm sure there's plenty better ways you can organize the inside, really. Um, I'm not an interior designer. I really like the outside stuff more. But there we go. So there's your basic outline for the first story. What we want to do now is go along to all the areas with logs. And we want to add a little bit bit of cobblestone here that we'll actually get rid of this eventually but what we want to do is we want to make the log stick out at the top here so it's going to be a total four blocks tall with the top one sticking out we can get rid of the cobblestone after that uh oh nope and just repeat this pattern until we got all of the little log bits down keep going over here like so nothing really complicated yet alrighty just like that now what we want to do is basically connect all of these things with sideways beams or more log like so and it'll give you this nice little depth window here so it gets a little funky here what you basically want to do is actually just keep with it so we're going to place a log block there and then just have the log facing outwards like these two adjacent to it and here we simply want to place a block there could be cobblestone and then place a beam across like that now complete the doorway there and that is essentially the basis for our first story continuing on we want to start working on the roof this is actually going to be a big part of the house as you can see over here it takes up quite a bit of room so it's important we get it right now what I like to do this is what I commonly do on most of my houses just one overhang I actually want to put it up a block like so, so you can actually see this wooden beam coming across here. Over here, a little bit interesting, you want to come across like so. You can see we have a one block gap in between this doorway. And simply place any kind of block there. There we go. And we want to just go up one, so a 45 degree angle. Just like that, we can get rid of this block here. Now this is where it gets interesting. We want to actually place a block on top like that where a stair would normally be and then we place the stair this is going to give us kind of a more nordic -y kind of look to it so there we go like so and then up here I do a little crest or whatever you want to call it on the roof so something like that and this is the general shape of our roof now something I really like to do is kind of shape it outwards what we want to do for that is get rid of these two blocks here we want to extend this one, extend this block two blocks, and then we'll extend this all the way out to here, get rid of these, and extend this out one more. So you can see we have kind of a diagonal shape going here. We move out one more block, move out one more block, so on and so on. I'm just going to repeat this on the other side again. We go out one less than the farthest one, like so, and then we have this nice kind of a uh, diagonal shape. 
once we've got this frame here completed, we want to build another roof frame onto this wall and onto this wall. I've outlined the little outcropping bits here. So what we want to do is just keep going like this, and we'll end up with some more roof. Now one thing that is worth considering is that I am making the corner or the flat part of the stair facing outwards at all times. You can see that here. Again, we want to apply that to all the roof area. We don't want it to be say like that. That's not what we want. We actually want it to come out like so and you're going to have to uh, put a block there and place it down just like so. I've got all three of these frames down. If you need help building them, just go back to the part where I built this one and kind of review it. Now, what we want to do is we actually want to start basically uh, inserting some of these pine wood planks, spruce wood, whatever you want to call them. Now, what I like to do on this roof is I like to outline my roof in stone brick stairs, and then I like to have like the main bases of the roof be spruce or pine, whatever. Um, so what I do is I go two blocks in and then finish the rest with this pine wood. Like so. You just kind of want to go along. Now down here, you want to have just like that. But you want to make it all stone brick. You want to have the bottom and we're going to keep this crest up here stone brick just to kind of give it a more enclosed feel. So we're going to come along just like this. And now you see we have two blocks here. We actually want to use some pine wood here. Connect them up. Now you see three here, so we're going to have to get rid of some of that. And we can build this roof just like this. And just bring it across. Basically, you're just connecting all of these little uh, little A-frames, whatever you want to call them. We can bring this across like so. There we go. You can start to see the, uh, the nice shape forming there. We need to come over here and do our two-block rule, as you can see come back over here again I'm leaving this all stone on the bottom and on the top just to kinda give it a nice stone feel not use too much wood alright just keep coming across like so and just com keep completing the roof basically now what we want to do is we actually just want to keep extending this little segment here so they're going to meet in the middle here. Here we're just going to want to put a block. It looks fine from the outside and I think it's probably the easiest solution because basically the idea is that we want to have these with the flat part facing out. Now we want to come over here, keep doing what we've been doing like so. And this area is actually going to get a little bit more strange just because we have this little outcropping here. I'll show you guys how to deal with that in a minute. But for now, we just want to get all this nice roofing down. There we go. So, just keep moving on here. Apologize for that. This needs to be all stone. And then we're actually just going to keep continuing this all the way across. Get out of there. Okay. And we're actually just going to take this all the way across for now. We're going to fix this up in a second here. Alright, so for now we have this. Now to tackle this little outcropping here, we're actually going to use some pine slabs. What we're going to want to do is just kind of get rid of all this. Up here is fine. Now, what we want to do is we actually just want to come out a block. Like so. You want to actually include this area here too, so have a nice little one block overhang what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this in with stone brick and do this so it comes right up to the edge like so 
then what we want to do is we want to fill this with some pine wood and stack those right on top of it and that's essentially where we're going to get that nice little outcropping look to it next up we gotta have is to build the basically the window frame or the actual wall inside this a-frame here this is what I consider to probably be the hardest part of the build what we want to do is we start, want to start off with some upside down stairs kinda go around this pillar here like so we want to place two stone walls there and put some logs on the inside of these so you get the nice uh, round wood shape up there we want to advance these pillars up one block in so they're not flush with this add a block of cobblestone a glass pane make sure it's a pane I think it looks a lot better than the uh, then a block. We want to take some stone bricks, come up two blocks out, then we want to add one up there, add it upside down stair, and then add a upside down stone slab or stone brick slab. What we want to do next is just go like this. And there we go. That's essentially the front um, face for the A frame. Okay, so moving on to the side frame these two are going to be identical but they're going to be different from the front one that we just did so pay close attention because some things might catch you a little off guard so we're gonna continue with the two pillars set in one block I actually want to do it when I get rid of that and we want to align three um, upside down stairs here I actually want to come across with a block of it doesn't actually matter the material we want to go in grab some fence gates slam them down there and there you go. So now what we need to do essentially is two blocks here, two upside down stairs there. We're going to use the same pattern for the roof here, so slab, stair, brick. We're going to have a brick here and a brick here. Now what we want to do is we want to come inside, place a glass pane. To finish it off, we just want to add a stone slab there. We want to add two cobblestone walls there. We're going to actually have to come inside and do the same little trick we did before, adding two outfacing wooden blocks. We're going to come put our stuff back. And there we go. Now we're just going to come along and repeat it right over here. So again, if you missed it, three upside down stairs there. Come across with a block of your choice. Two fence gates and then we just want to clean this area up we want to add two cobblestone walls two up facing logs and then we need to build up on the inside with these pillars we're going to place two blocks of just plain stone brick two upside down stairs we're going to want to place a slab there stone brick slab block of cobblestone right behind there to get a really nice highlight uh, two more stone bricks we're going to want to come up like that. We're going to want to extend one stone brick block, stair, and then slab. And that's going to about do it for the A-frame wall there. We're going to move on to some detailing next. Moving on to detail, we're going to start with the exterior walls and work our way up to the roof. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come to this little inlet here. It looks a little bit awkward going to fill the top spot with a stone brick and then put a fence right in there we're going to come over to this doorway we're going to make a two high doorway there put a little bit of stone brick in the ground make it seem like there's a little bit of a floor there and add an upside down stair there we're going to actually want to come through with a door just like that nice looking door we're going to come over here what I do is actually just add some of these and then add some little fence here. This is kind of a representative of a tool rack or something you'd find on the outside of a house when someone is going to work. Now we want to add upside down stairs here as well. And we're going to form a kind of a basis window design. We're going to get rid of the middle block there, place a glass pane, two cobblestone walls on the edges, get rid of that one, and a stone brick stair. Or not stone brick, cobblestone. There we go. Alright, so cobblestone, break that glass pane and then layer the outside with walls 
what this does is it actually just gives it kind of more depth than just a plain wall and I really like the way it turns out alright so again over here we just want to go a stone brick on top and a fence down there we're gonna repeat our little window design here it's glass pane in the middle uh, stone brick or cobblestone stair cobblestone walls on the outside like so and that's pretty much gonna give you your basic window design working on the detail at the bottom of the house is actually pretty important to me I think it makes it look a lot better so what we want to do is we actually just want to come along here and we're going to add some stone brick stairs upside down and we're going to fill that in the base of them with some stone brick on the rest of the corners such as here we're actually going to place them right side up and then put a stone slab in the middle I'm going to repeat the same process here and here as well this is a little bit of a weird one you just want to place two out facing stairs again here two stairs and then a stone brick slab here is another weird one you just wanna kinda just go with the flow here and just attach two to this pillar here and then just one more there now this is actually a really good example I'm glad I came upon this is this little block here you don't want that so what we wanna do is we wanna replace it with some stone brick just kinda make it seem fuller less some um, Let's, it's going to be more aesthetically pleasing that way. Let, let me just leave it at that. There's actually not a whole lot of decoration I do on the roof. There is one thing here I do on the end. And that is I simply come across like so. And I add a little regular stair underneath this other one. So if you didn't see that, I place a stair attaching to one of these little outliers. Like so. And then just get rid of this one. It gives us this nice little shape. I know there's like huge dragon heads that a lot of Nordic builders do. I like them, but I think a little bit more subtle stuff works better. So again, just like so, we got a little roof decoration. And that's actually pretty much it for the exterior of the house. As you can see, we've got a pretty sturdy house here. There is one thing that I love to do, and I'm sure you guys all hate it, and that is randomizing. So what I mean by randomizing is that I will go through a house and basically intertwine a lot of the like cobblestone with stone and a lot of the cra er, uh, stone brick with some of this cracked brick here I'll do this off camera I'll actually link some really good videos in the description of this video so you can kinda see how to do this I'll give you a little example but basically just throwing in some of these random blocks uh, every so often just to kinda mix up the setting there is no pattern to this whatsoever as you can see, I'm just kind of throwing stuff in there. I'll, again, link the videos in the description. I've finished all the randomizing. You can see it's subtle, but I think it helps. We have a little cracked break up there, down there, a little up there. Stone is a little bit harder to work in on this build just because there's not a whole lot of it. But you can see little highlights of it in these window frames area. And I think it just kind of lights up the area a little bit better. So that's pretty much it for the exterior. And we're going to move on to the interior. Again, I'm not a huge interior artist, but I have some ideas and I kind of like them. First thing we need to do is really just clean up the interior. As you can see, this is really just a mess. Um, what I'm going to be doing here is basically going along with a bunch of cobble. Here's an interesting spot. I actually like to put another upside down stone brick stair there. So we're just going to kind of fill this out with cobblestone. We can get rid of this later. But really this is just to produce a nicer clean look for when we are building we'll act for the inside of the house flooring wise we just kinda wanna fill in the floor with some plank pine wood plank I think it looks the best just cause it it matches the house essentially is really the only reason now I wanna add just a little bit of a rug just to add a little bit more character to the room so we're gonna clean out this area For the roof of this first story, what we want to do is we essentially want to come in right about here and we want to basically just layer this with a slab of pine. Now what this does is it actually produces a nice full floor up here that we can place furniture on, but it gives us this extra block of height or half block of height that we can do some cool stuff with. Now what I like to do is actually just kind of 
run beams across the room. So what this means is basically running a log beam ladder or horizontally across the room and it produces a really nice effect because it will stick out from that half slabs half a block and we can even run one down this way so just like so it gives us this really cozy reinforced feel and when we come up we actually still have plenty of room up here to do some cool stuff with going through here you can see I've placed some furniture small couple of chests along with a, uh, a stove and a countertop I tend to keep the lighting to a minimum inside my houses I think it looks better you can see I'm on moody really adds a little bit of a nicer effect especially when you're on a shaders mod put a little bookcase in here and now we can just move up to the top here now for something like this I generally just run beams across the uh, the rooftop here we actually want to move this to here so it lines up with this piece of wood here quite nicely can run it along just like so and that's basically what I do for my roof in my attic and then here I don't really worry about lighting too much but what I really like to do is I'll actually place it up here it kind of gives a little bit more of a omniscient feel a little bit more ominous what we can do is we can just place some bookcases and let's say a chest keep some uh, weapons or whatever in it I really like this design which is just a weapons rack and yeah, just, just try to fill up the space here not a whole lot going on I mean we could always have the uh, stuff on the walls for instance we could have just some armor some weapons say let's give them that and that there you go so you can see you just I'm not a huge fan of this stuff but there we go that's about it for today guys I hope you guys enjoyed a few notes on the map here I am using Jamsy Boys World Painter map. I'll leave a link to his video where you can download it yourself in the description below. I'll also be um, leaving some links to some texture packs that I like the look of this house in. This house looks really good in Ovo's Rustic Texture Pack as well as John Smith's Texture Pack. Again, those will be in the description as well. I think they both look really good on this house in terms of uh, medieval style look. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave any feedback you guys have in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys next time.